Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi, math friends. This is Mr. Woods Teaches. And today, I'm going to be bringing you some fractions and multiplication of fractions. We're going to kind of go through the, the language of math, but also I'm trying to understand or comprehend what the words are telling us to do for mathematics. So let's take a look at this here. I have this right here. It says divide 50 by 1 half and add 15, then subtract 10. What did you get? Well, let's read this through. Divide 50 by 1 half. So that's going to give me 50 divided by 1 half. Now, if you recall a map, at this 50, and I can see that's 50 ones. Okay, so just to make it so that we have two fractions. For those properties of fractions, we can go through and go, well, wait a minute, we can simplify this and do, make it so that it's easier to compute. So I can say 50 divided by one times, and then I invert this here, two over one. And that's gonna give me an answer of 100 over one, or just one hundred. Okay, let's do the rest of this. So we did that divide 50 by one half. Now it says add 15. So 100 plus 15 and then subtract 10. Subtract 10. What does that equal? Well, I don't need to do this first and then subtract that. I'm just going to take away this 10 right here and take that 10. So it's going to be 100 plus 5 is equal to 105. Easy. Because I understood or I comprehended what they were trying to do over here. So let's go take a look at this over here. It's a little bit different. People misinterpreted this. They were saying divide 50 by one half and add 15 and subtract. And then their answer is like, oh, well, one half of 50 is 25. That's different language that you need to use over here. Let's see how that is solved and get the answer to that. So we have find one half of 50 and add 15 then subtract 10. So one half of 50, what, is, what does that mean? We're gonna say 0 0.5, which is one half, times 50. That's equal to, I did that on purpose because I wanted to show you something here is that, I, I'm gonna do this here separately here in a moment. Let's make that into, let's do this as a fraction now. So that's still gonna be equal to one half times 51s, what do we do? So when we're multiplying this, we multiply the tops. So one times 50 is equal to 50. Two times one is two. And 50 halves is, act, is equal to 25. Because 25 times two is equal to 50. So I have 25 here. Now I could do it a different way. So let's take a look at this. So 50 times 0 0.5. And one of the things I want to do here is I want to show you is that this is actually 50.0 times 0 0.5. Now, I could have just had it to where I just had it the 0 into the 5 and stuff, but I like having these with place values. So if 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 0 is 0, right? 5 times 5 is 25. Of course, I'm not adding anything else because all that's zero. But we count them, you know, so we have a decimal point here and a decimal point here. So I go one, two, and that equals 25. We get the same answer. So that's nice to be able to convert the, these fractions into decimals and back and forth. Say. So I have this 25. Uh, so 25, I'm going to add 15 plus 15, and I'm going to subtract 10. What did you get? Well, again, I take that 10 out, take that 10 out, 25 plus five, and that is all equal to 30. Vastly different than this here. That's how you have to interpret the language that you use within mathematics. Until next time, this is Mr. Woods Teaches. And remember, to be a mathematician, all you have to do is be a person that does math. Please like my channel helps out with uh, you getting more viewers and other stuff like that. And I really appreciate you do that. Have a great day.